Oh my god. I did not expect any of this to happen. No, no, no. <gasps> what? Say what? Oh my god, I feel so embarrassed. Money, 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 money. Hi guys, I'm Mar, and today I'm gonna tell you all about my sugar daddy experience, or experiences, I guess you would say, on CQArrangements.com. So I really wanna jump into this video. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, and of course, subscribe to my channel by clicking down there. Don't forget, I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday, so you definitely want to be subscribed so you don't miss out on any of the new video awesomeness and also tap that little notification bell to join club more but yeah guys let's get started okay so as you guys probably know or if you don't know i will tell you now and i'm married i've been married for four and a half years and i've been with my husband for 11 years so it's like a little bit weird for me to go on seeking arrangements but i've always been so curious about sugar babies and that lifestyle because it's something i honestly can't really relate to i grew up i was taught to just work really hard for everything that you wanted and to not get it from a man and i could just kind of tell you the backstory to that but basically i guess i grew up seeing how it can go very wrong when you just expect for a man to give you everything so i just always wanted to work for myself and just get whatever i wanted by myself and if i had a partner for them to just kind of be there and support me and for us to work together and i'm really happy to say that that's really what we have or at least that's how i feel my relationship has been this far but i've just always been so curious and i've seen so many documentaries and people talking about it and people just saying basically how amazing it is to be a sugar baby or how bad it's been to be a sugar baby Baby, so I was like, you know what? I want to be a sugar baby. I want to know what it's like. I mean, I want to have my own opinion and I really want to know. So one of the most famous sites for sugar babies is seekingarrangement.com. They say they're a site just to connect sugar daddies with sugar babies. They don't say they're an escort site. I mean, they just basically say that nothing like that is on the site. And I truly think that's not the purpose of the site, or at least I'm sure it happens. I think they just kind of look the other way. But that's the site I went on and I created my profile about a week ago and I wanted to really try it out and see what happens so I could tell you the whole story. Oh my God. I did not expect any of this to happen. It was crazy, you guys. I mean, crazy. So I first went on Seeking Arrangement and you can pick if you want to be a sugar baby or if you want to be a sugar daddy and you can pick if you're interested in males or if you're interested in females i said i was interested in both because i really wanted to see if i would get sugar mamas or, or what would happen i mean honestly i love everybody so i was i was open to that but i screenshotted everything and i have it right here so i'm kind of going to be reading off my computer so if you guys see me looking down that's what i'm looking at so the first thing when you join they tell you that thanks for being part of the sugar baby community and they tell you that don't share any bank information oh they also tell you to not share your public like your actual name that you have to have like a fake name they say that there's no pay per meet which is very weird because whenever i saw somebody talking about being a sugar baby that's what they would say they would say like oh yeah this guy just paid me 500 dollars to go and meet with him for coffee but apparently according to this you're not supposed to also there's no online only so you're supposed to actually go and meet with people you can't just be online you have to actually go and see them in person or at least that's what this website is for and if you need a guy you can go and, and have a guy so they ask you so many questions i mean they ask you about like your body type they ask you what you're interested in but they also ask you what are your monthly spending habits so you have to be like you, if you don't have a budget you can be like up to three thousand i was like okay if i'm gonna be a sugar baby i'm gonna be a good sugar baby okay i want all this money so you can say more than 10,000? I was like, okay, more than 10,000 it is for sure. So once you sign up for the website, I uploaded my pictures and I uploaded public pictures from Instagram because I was like, okay, if anybody sees me on here, I don't know, I didn't want somebody to like recognize me. So I was like, okay, I'll just post public pictures and if anybody says anything, I'll be like, well, it's not actually me. I mean, it was me, but I was like, I could just claim that it's a catfish or something like that. I mean, in my mind, that made sense, but I wasn't expecting them to, you couldn't just upload the pictures pictures you have to wait for them to actually approve these pictures which was crazy to me i think it's pretty good that they do that because from what i have heard there's a lot of salt daddies which are people that don't actually have any money and they just pretend to be a sugar daddy and i think the website kind of just make their best effort to make sure that everybody is actually interested in having a sugar baby sugar daddy relationship and the sugar daddies actually have some money i mean that sounds so bad that's what people are there for they're just there for money which was so strange you guys i mean i mean the conversations that i had oh okay 
weird. So I had to wait for my pictures to get denied. They actually got denied the first time. And I was like, what? This is actually me. And when your pictures get denied, you have to send in photo ID. Guys, I legit had to send them a picture of my passport. And I was like, guys, this is actually me. And they didn't ask for any type of explanation. Like, I mean, they were just like, okay, it's you. Great. I mean, go on with your life. And they approved my pictures. But what I wasn't expecting was that they approved not all the pictures I had posted, they only approved two. And the picture that was set up as my primary picture was like this picture of me at the pool. And I didn't think anything of it at the time. I was just like, okay, this is like the picture they approved, it's fine. I thought this was kind of like Tinder where you posted pictures of like your body. I mean, I thought that's what you did. And I mean, it is what you do, but okay, so it's weird. But I wasn't really sure on what to do because when you log in as a sugar baby, they only show you sugar daddy. So I actually went and I created a sugar daddy profile because I was like, I need to see my competition. I mean, I need to see what this is all about. So I went and I created a sugar daddy profile so I could see the sugar babies. And I also said I was interested in men and women, but they were at least, I would say 98% of them were women. There were very little men. I could see kind of like what, how they looked and it was weird. I mean, a lot of them looked, I mean, I don't wanna assume things about them, but they looked like they had done this for a while. I'll just say that, I'll just say that, yeah. I think you can be a professional sugar baby, I think so. I was reading because you can write stuff on your profile. Honestly, I didn't, like what they wrote, it just made me kind of think about life and like women in general, because like most of them were women and they were just like, I like to go shopping, I want somebody to pay for that. Or like, I like massages and I want somebody to pay for that. And in my head, guys, like this is not necessarily the right way to think but I was like why don't you pay for that I mean why don't you work and you pay for it you know and these girls probably work and maybe they just can't afford it but part of me is just like I don't know it seems like an easy solution it seems like a very easy way out and a very dangerous one because you're meeting with men that you don't really know who they are where they come from just that they're offering you like to maybe pay for some of your shopping and it just feels really superficial you know it's just like oh I want to go shopping and some guy to pay for it I personally just don't think this is a lifestyle for me, but I'm not somebody that will criticize others for what they do. I mean, if you do it, great. I just personally don't understand it. I don't understand kind of like the motivation behind it, but I mean, yeah, that was like what I saw, like the most common thing I saw when I was reading people's profiles. So for my profile, I actually did it before <laughs> I saw the other girls. Oh my God, I feel so embarrassed, but I felt like I was a little bit too old. I felt like 27 is a bit old. So I was like, I said I was 23, you guys. Oh my God. <laughs> I said I was 23 and that I was a, a student. I said that I was pre-med, which is, which I guess would have been kind of true. Although when I was 23, I had already graduated from biology. So I mean, no, but I was like, okay. And I didn't know what to write. I said what I'm looking for. And I wrote financial domination. Cause I read, <laughs> well, I didn't write it. I picked it. Cause I saw a documentary where the girl was financially dominated and the guy, he didn't even see her ever. All he did was call her on the phone and be like, I want you to spend $10,000 today. And I was like, that sounds amazing. I mean, you don't have to meet this guy. He's just like, spent all this money. And she was like, okay, I will. <laughs> I'm like, okay. All ethnicities, of course. And then luxury lifestyle. Cause I mean, yeah, who wouldn't? <laughs> as soon as my pictures got approved, I started getting messages like that. I mean, it was so fast. Oh, I also wrote fiery Latina. <laughs> Cause I feel like that's what describes me, you know? I feel like it is. So you can actually see here who views your profile. It's kind of uncomfortable, I think. Cause I, once I found that out, I was like, I don't want to click on every profile cause they will see that I'm clicking on it. <laughs> it's just strange. Let me just tell you guys. First of all, you kind of go on the front page and there's some guys that are popping up and there's some guys popping up right now. There's some young ones, definitely, but most of them are like, older. I didn't think of that. I wasn't thinking of age, but there were some older ones. And then you can see like the newest members and then you can see the diamond members. So the diamond members are people that have actually been verified. Their income has been verified, which I guess would be important here. And I think it's cool that this website does that because I mean, I guess for some reason I like forgot why I was on it. I kind of, I literally thought I was on Tinder and I was like, why are these people talking to me? They were just very straightforward. So yeah, everybody here only cares about money guys. That's all they care about. And everybody like the sugar babies or the sugar daddies, all they care about is money, 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 money. Also something I wasn't expecting this guy Guy. Okay, I'm gonna go on his profile. I remember this really shocked me because he had one private picture and you can have private pictures and people have to either ask for the picture to go public or they could just like share them with you and be like, oh, I am sharing my privates with you. This guy I asked because I was like, oh, he's kind of cute. And then I asked to see his private pictures. The private picture was his wife. And I was like, 
what? Say what? And he's like, fun, loving, laid by guy whose wife also happens to be laid back and loves women. Let's meet up. And there's a lot of couples on here, you guys, who want to like meet girls. And I don't know, I guess there was one who wanted a nanny, but the nanny had to be submissive because they were a dominant couple. And that honestly, I feel like that's like all kinds of trouble right there. Like, okay, you want a nanny, but like she has to be submissive. What, what are you going to be doing with the nanny? I mean, the nanny should be just taking care of your kids. That's it. That's all the nanny should be there for. But yeah, also everywhere you can write net worth and income. I don't know. I mean, these people are weird. Okay. So some people are like net worth 200,000 annual income, 1 million. You're like, how? Unless you like only made a million like this year and then you spend it all and that's why you don't really have a net worth. I felt like those that was like, mm, that's a bit sketchy, you know? Mm, maybe you lie, maybe you salt daddy, you know, you salt bay. Oh, they can also verify their backgrounds. There's like a search. Oh, and you could go premium. I actually want premium. It's better than my money. You could pay twenty dollars a month. I paid this just because I paid it because it said it will verify your pictures quicker. I really wanted to get verified so I could start using the website because if you don't have a picture, what's the point? So if you get verified, you could just like use the search better so you can actually search. I am not kidding. You can actually search by net worth. So you could be like, well, I want somebody that makes more than ten million dollars a year. So you could just like search that. But I feel like the most interesting thing has been my messages. So I'm just gonna go and tell you guys about like the best messages I got. So this guy, actually, he was pretty funny. This is the guy I talked to the most. His name wasn't No Games Need, I guess that's his screen name. And I didn't actually like him because he said, what I'm looking for, cuteness and hotness is a must. <laughs> and I guess I'm kind of flattered because he kept DMing me all the time. Like he was just like, what's your Instagram? When are you available? <laughs> his opening statement was, look what I just found, the hottest girl on this weird site. How are you? And I was like, okay. That's good. I mean, that was like an okay opening, you know? And I was like, I'm good. How are you? And then he was like, let's chat or text. And I was like, we are chatting. And then he's like, so what's your goal here? And my friend told me to tell him this. And I was like, because remember, I'm a pre-med student. I was like, tuition is high and I need some cash. And he was like, okay, would you be down to meet? And I was like, what? I mean, that usually doesn't like fly, you know, in the normal world. But I guess in the sugar baby world, it does. He was like, okay, you need some cash? Okay, let's meet. And I'm like, that's awesome. I mean, I guess I understand sugar babies. Like, okay, let's pay for this tuition. Let's get it. Get it, girl. Get your coins. But then I was like, cool, let's do it. And he was like, when are you available? And what's your Instagram? And then I just kind of like, I didn't reply anymore because I was busy living life. I wasn't going to actually meet with this guy, you know? And then he was like, what are you doing? He kept like kind of texting me, like, well, chatting with me. And I just, I didn't really reply because, you know. But I got the weirdest, creepiest messages, you guys. Okay, let me just, like, it's kind of hard to... to <laughs> oh my god, like, polite yet direct. Look at this guy. I mean, my name is Jason. Without pictures, I can assure you I'm fairly young and good looking. Especially so with beer goggles. What? <laughs> what? He's like, once we click, I like to offer an arrangement of seeing you twice a week at $2,000 a month. Cash is fine, but prefer weekly arrangements through PayPal just so it doesn't feel so transparent. Transactional. I mean, this guy just kind of like sent like a contract straight up and I was like, okay, okay, what the hell? He sends me his phone number and everything. Oh my God. And he's like, I normally don't give my picture out, but I feel for you, I can make an exception. This is my recent picture from a few weeks ago. And he sends me a Google Drive link. Guys, we all know what that is. Google Drive. You guys know what I'm thinking? There's no way. I'm, I am not clicking that link. You guys. I am just not <laughs> like, no. No, no, that link is not getting clicked, you guys. I mean, hell though. I got some really interesting ones because I said I was based in LA, but like this one is like, I'm from Washington, distance is no issue. And again, this dude doesn't have a picture. Like you need a picture. Some dude was just like straight up, I'll offer you $700 for dinner. I was like, eh, no. I mean, there was like some normal ones like we're like, oh, hi, how are you? Those were my favorite, I guess. I mean, they were like nice, but there were so many, like so many that were like, hey, wanna meet up tonight? Hey, I'll give you X amount of money if you come over tonight hey okay not tonight tomorrow night and i was like no i mean like talk to me at least what the hell i mean find out something about me but they were just like very very transactional you know this guy was like my membership is expiring tomorrow and just giving me his number i'm like okay i'm not texting you okay no this dude <laughs> ciao bella when i look into your eyes i notice something mysterious like you're looking for something big in your life i mean you just know like it's so like copy paste you know he was inviting me to like his freaking italian castle 
I was like, no, I ain't going to your Italian castle. There were so many copy paste ones. Although this one was just like, hello, beautiful. And I was like, you say that to everyone. And he was like, LOL, only the beautiful. I mean, not bad, not bad, you know, you know. <laughs> this one was like, are you in Venice? Let's play. What? See, so, okay, I realized was that, I don't know if my picture that I had, which was like this picture, made people think that I was, you know, that's why they were like being so direct with me. So I changed my picture to this picture. Guys, before I was getting at least 20 messages a day. Now I'm getting like one message a day. What? Nobody's interested. Nobody cares. Nobody likes me anymore. I'm like, I honestly feel offended. I'm like no longer Bella. Now I'm like, I don't care about you. So I'm actually really, really sad. But then that got me thinking. So people on the site, I actually read some guy's profile, which I, was it this guy? Oh wait, what, what did I say to this one? I feel like I kept, <laughs> this one was really funny. Oh my God. This guy was like, hi gorgeous. Are you interested in the arrangement? And I was like, a flower arrangement? And he's like, a sugar baby arrangement. I just replied like, no, I don't want that. <laughs> This guy's funny. He was like, no prostitutes, scammers, mysterious women in a dire situation that need quick money transfers to Nigeria. <laughs> I was like, because you guys know that prince of Nigeria that always needs money transfer and he'll send you like $20 million after. That's, that's so funny. But I read this one profile where the guy was just saying like, I prefer to not date because it just takes a lot of time out of me. I would just rather be very direct with what I want and any extra time I'll rather be putting into my company. So. I fell for the guy. I was like, like I fell for him. <laughs> like I fell for him. I was like, okay, I understand that. You know, he's like a very busy person. And I see how dating can just take like so much effort. And honestly, if you're a guy that has money, probably you're gonna get a lot of women that are just interested in you for the money and pretending to like you. So I can see how he's like, you know, I'm done with that. I just like don't even care. I just like I'm gonna be like very straight up with you. And this is this is what I want. And you tell me what you want. Okay, you want my money? I mean, I'll just rather be honest than you just trying to basically scam me. I kind of a little sad, you know, I guess like, oh, poor little rich guy. <laughs> Overall, I definitely think this website is mostly for escorts. I really think so because of the messages I got and I'm not saying sugar babies are escorts I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there's everything I'm sure there could be like actual relationships where it's like a like a relationship and where like the person is Kind of like like what I was saying like I <laughs> Tuition is high and I need some cash But I think from what I saw from a sugar daddy profile and from the messages I got I think both of them are just just like Yeah pros, but honestly, I think going on the website kind of took the magic away from me for a thinking of, oh my God, it must be so fun to be a sugar baby because it was so transactional and so cold. It was just like, they didn't even care. I felt like the guys that were messaging me saw me like almost as an object. They were just like, here, I'll pay you this much so I can just have you. I don't know. I kind of like being wined and dined and loved and cherished, but that's just me. Anyway, guys, that was my experience being an online almost sugar baby. Let me know what you guys thought. I don't know. I still have uh, like, three more weeks left of my membership. So if you guys would like a part two and to see more of these messages where I actually talk more with the guys, I would love to do it. <laughs> Cause I wanna, I wanna continue with my investigations. You know what I mean? But yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.